So I'm recording this before the actual release of Global Ultra Impact. So I'm going to assume that the reroll method and the rerollable characters are going to be exactly the same. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the method on how to reroll, as well as the characters you should be striving for when rerolling. So I'm going to be using the footage that I had in 2021 when Ultra Impact on JP just first released. And you're going to get a free multi-summon after you do the battle tutorial. And whatever you get in here is your first re-rollable multi summon now hopefully global makes it very easy to re-roll like jp did hopefully uh they didn't change anything because it's just a press of a button and you're able to re-roll instantly you don't have to like delete the account or delete the whole app and then reinstall thankfully you are able to just re-roll instantly with a press of a button so after i slowly go through this first multi summon which i will pull absolutely nothing I think it's a 2% pull rate on the UR, unfortunately, um, for a character. And after the multi-summon, you'll be able to press OK to confirm that you want to keep this multi-summon. Or the white button right here means you're able to do a re-roll. So you're able to do another multi-summon. You don't keep any of these characters. You just go for a second attempt. And this is infinite, so you don't have to worry about how many tries you get. You keep re-rolling until you are satisfied now satisfaction to me is three uis and you're pretty much good um but we'll go into details now on who to aim for when re-rolling and the best way to do this is by a tier list so here are all the beginner uis that you can get other than this ur all might all of these characters here are ur characters that you can pull in the re-roll multi and as well as this guy so these last two characters don't worry about them now, before we continue, I do want to mention that UR memories are pullable in the reroll. Now, I wouldn't hard focus on them. I would say only go for characters. If you do pull a UR memory within like two characters and you're happy with the two characters, then I would say that is a good reroll. But strictly only UR memories, I'd say they're not worth it. If you watch my other Ultra Impact videos, you would know that SR memories do quite well just on its own. So we're going to just go in order here with the Dekus. I think a Dekus is D as they are low priority. If you pull them and only them, then you should probably just reroll. Now, if you pull them in like a combination of two others, then you can argue that if you don't have enough time, then just go with that. But if it's just them by themselves or even those two together, then you'd probably definitely want to reroll. Uh, Bakugo is an S tier. Definitely, in terms of aging unit, he's one of the best in this group. Same as a Chaco, but I don't think she's top tier tier. I think she's good right now when the game first released, as she's a beneficial character for VE Tower. So if you're looking for an early good start, then this is the way to go. Bakugo is a like a medium start, but then like exponentially like grows like importance so high. Uh, Todoroki, I feel like is the same thing. Like, he is in, like, that A tier where he gives you a really good start. But then maybe his value tends to slow down just a little bit. Kirishima is an S tier. Like, he is used every way. Again, he's like Bakugo as well. Like, you won't be using him a lot in the first parts of the game. But you'll start using him a lot, a lot in, like, every single mode as uh, the game continues on. I've only had about, like, five or four months of experience. So, it might change. But as from... My experience on the JP side, this is definitely a thing. Uh, Momo is like a B tier. Now, she has a really good combo with Bakugo, so don't let that fool you just because she's a B tier. She's still super valuable. It's just that in terms of the content, other than USJ, she's probably not the greatest of all time. Aizawa is an S tier as well. Super, super good. Uh, used in VE Tower multiple times. His value is super high, and he doesn't really get featured in banners, so he's an unfeatured character. That uh, is very, very good to pull. Like these three, if I got these three all in one go, I'd be like, oh my god. I would personally, my aim is like Bakugo, Kirishima, and then either Todoroki or or even just the double A's and Bakugo. At least Bakugo with the, what, any of these S and A's. Uh, Hawks is like a C. He's fun to use and he can be very helpful. It's just that he drops down and he's in, used in like very, very little situations. And then the last two characters that I want to look at is Shigaraki, as well as the Alpha one. Um, Shigaraki is like... Mm, I would say I would put them in A. The only reason why I put them in A is because 
with so little URs, them two together with the current VE tower that will be out on the Global Ultra Impact. Hopefully, this is like all making sense. Hopefully, Global doesn't change anything. Those do a super value for the last stage. Um, and they still end up being valuable throughout the whole entire game as long as you're versing Pro Hero. I just wouldn't say they're as useful as these guys, but I'd say they're on the same tier as this, where like the value is skyrocketed and then maybe they're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Now, the community will tell you to pull for pairs. And while that is very good early game, I feel like late game, it is really not that important. So a lot of people will recommend you Bakugo with Momo as Momo buffs Bakugo. Or, you know, a Chaco with Todoroki as a Chaco buffs Todoroki since he's green. Or like Hiroshima and Red Deku because Hiroshima buffs Red Deku. But I feel like other than USJ, these guys and the combinations that you form with this is really not that great. The Shigaraki and the Ulfa one is a better combo. I would say that's an agreeable combo. But these ones are really aged wrong. But in terms of these three pairing, these are aged really badly. I just look at it as who ages well and how many times I used them. So that's why I did a tier list of individuality. As PvP mucks up the whole kind of situation and VE Tower, it's only USJ where pairing's actually really good. And USJ, with enough time, you can just overpower it without even any synergy. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts and takes on it. Uh, if somebody suggests you with pairings, I mean, they're not wrong. It's just that they're not right forever. So, yeah, that's my really quick tier list. These guys don't count. This is a free-to-play card, and this is the next banner. So, I'll talk about that when it comes time to that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on daily content. I didn't go into too much details on each character, but um, if you want to see all of the characters in action, I do have like JP showcases on them. Uh, in terms of showcasing on Global, it'll probably take me a while, so please stay tuned. But yeah, anyway, see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay busy. Peace out.